Well, I picked up a new piece of equipment for the uh, for the yard here. Um, I got myself a Wen electric chainsaw. It's a corded chainsaw, and uh, it's got a 16-inch bar on it. This one cost just about sixty dollars, fifty-five, sixty dollars all in. Um, the main reason I got the Wen was had pretty good marks as far as reviews went. But also, it's got a 16-inch bar, and most of the uh, saws that I found in this price range uh, were 14-inch bars, and I wanted that little bit of extra reach because I'm thinking about possibly doing some some uh, chainsaw milling because there's a lot of trees that come down around here where I have access to some good-sized logs, and I might be able to uh, do a little bit of milling and get some boards out of that for projects. So I want to keep that as an option, and that's uh, one of the reasons I wanted the biggest bar I could get for the price. So let's open this up and take a look. Got, of course, the manual. We've got our uh, bar cover here. And here's the basic body. So we've got plug in, there's a little record retainer right here, a place for the bar oil, and, uh, and this is the mechanism for hooking up the bar and the chain. And I've got my bar in here. So a 16-inch Oregon uh, bar, and of course my cutting chain. So we unscrew the tensioner here, or the not the tensioner. We unscrew this toolless connector to get the cover off, and that comes off and exposes um, the the. Uh, drive clutch or the drive gear and also our connection for the bar here so that bar is going to go on right there and we just hook the chain around that and there's our tensioner right there to pull on the bar not real crazy about that that's completely plastic from here all the way in this is all well I guess that's a metal shaft. Plastic wheel and a metal shaft. I guess that's not too bad. But this is metal. We've got metal here. So now let's get our chain out. Handy little guide on there showing you which direction your teeth should be going. So I've got my chain positioned here. I'm gonna place this. Place all that together. So I've got that hooked around the uh, the drive gear, placed in this little stud here, which is on the tensioner, and the bar is in place. Now we'll just put the cover back on and hold it all down. Took a sec to realize there's a small tab there on this. It's a small tab right here on this end that needs to go in first before you put this in position. Now that that's in place, I'll got a tool list, then I can adjust the tension here. And I can lock everything down. And the next step is to put some chain oil in right here. So this is where our bar chain oil goes in.
Don't forget to put on your safety goggles, and we're ready to cut. Well, I've spent about an hour in the yard here cutting up some tree branches, doing a little light pruning, and I've got to say that this 16-inch electric saw from Wynn is a keeper for me. Um, I'm really pleased with it. A couple of things that I really, really like. First, I love the fact that all of the adjustments that I need to make, all the major maintenance that I need to do with the chain and the bar and everything, is all tool-free. So I don't have to drag anything out in the, in the yard, no tools in the yard, in order to work with the saw. The only thing that I would need tools for is to sharpen the chain, and you'll have to do that no matter what. Um, the other thing I love about this is I can hang it up in the shed, don't have to do any maintenance on it, grab it when I need it, plug it in, and it's going to work. I have spent time with cha uh, gas chainsaws before. I borrowed one from a neighbor who just got it back from the shop, had somebody work on it, and I probably spent 50 Maybe up to 70% of the time I had it, I spent basically just trying to keep it running, trying to figure out why, priming it and pulling it and adjusting the mix, and it just was a pain. I spent more time fiddling with it than I did actually using it. This one, basically, you pull the, you know, you pull the trigger and it goes. So I really like it. If you have yard work to do, if you're you know, someplace where you'd be close to a cord, this is great. I know there's some really nice uh, electric uh, battery power or battery operated saws that are available, um, but those are kind of overkill for my yard. And of course, I have a, a generator, so if I ever need to use this for down trees after a storm or something, I can pull out my generator and power this from my generator. But it didn't choke on anything. I ran through some decent sized logs and it ran right through everything, never bogged down, and I'm very pleased with it. So if you're looking for a you know small lightweight chainsaw to use in your yard, I give this one uh, a thumbs up and I would highly recommend it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.